the first thing about playing in Germany that you should know is the word Punktlichkeit. And in English, that means punctuality. And in Germany, punctuality is very important, being on time. If you're not on time, it's a sign of disrespect. Also, in German football teams, they have a thing called a Mannschaftskaster, and that's a team like bank account. And when you're late, you pay a fine, a strafe, and that goes into the bank account. Learning a few German words is so important, especially on the football field. Now, a lot of young German players, they can speak English, but the older ones cannot speak that well. It's not easy in Germany to get into a good team straight away. So, in Germany there are a lot of good players and a lot of players that have played in junior Bundesliga teams. And they're playing in the 4th and 5th division. So, it's very competitive and you've got to work your way up. Okay, so the fourth thing is about visas. And I'm lucky because my father's from England and I've got a uh, British passport. But, um, if you don't have a passport, then there's a few things that you can do. The first thing is that you can do a German course, and you can do that for one or two years and you'll get a visa. The other way is if you find a job. Now you need a minimum of 600 to 800 euros a month, and um, with a fifth division team it might be a bit difficult unless they have a good sponsor. So you have to find a good job. Um, one of my friends said that working at a restaurant, it doesn't really count it as a job, so you need something more serious. But yeah, you should Google it and find out, um, find out how it's possible. Now the third way, when you have no more options, that's when, come here Katya, you can marry a German girl, okay? So that's what you need to do if you have no other options. Okay, so the fifth thing that you have to worry about is living cost. Now, if you're playing a lower league level, then you'll probably have to find a part-time job to support yourself in Germany. Another thing that you have to worry about is finding an apartment. Now, at the moment, I'm paying with my partner 750 euros a month to live in Berlin, and we have our own apartment. But what a lot of people do is live in Vegas, Wohngemeinschafts. So you're living with roommates. So three to a, uh, apartment or four to an apartment, it all depends. And in some cities you can get as low as 200 euros a month, 150 euros a month. Another factor to consider is health insurance. Now, if you have a full-time job, your employer will pay for your health insurance. But if you, if you don't have a full-time job, and the government's not supporting your health insurance, then you have to pay it yourself, as everyone in Germany needs the health insurance. I'm currently paying 160 euros per month. And a final thing to worry about is transport costs, catching the U-Bahn, there is monthly tickets that you can purchase, and also food. If you, you're shopping at the supermarket, you can reduce costs, and the food in Germany is really not that expensive.